All right, this time we're looking at z over t minus 3 equals 8, and what we're going to be trying to do is solve for z. So we actually have two variables. Remember, that doesn't really matter though. We're just going to solve for z, still have t in the equation, but that's still a valid equation. It just means later we would substitute in what we want for t. So, as always when we're doing these types of questions, we're kind of doing that reverse bed mass. In this case, we've got a minus, so we're going to start with that. We have to get rid of the minus 3 before we can worry about the t. So, we've got z over t minus 3, and as always, to get rid of a minus, we add, so plus 3, and do that to the other side as well. 8 plus 3, so these go away, and we're left with z over t, and that's equal to 8 plus 3, or 11. But now we want to get rid of the t. The z is being divided by t, so multiply by t. Well, again, both sides, and these will cancel. We have z equals 11t. And again, this is a valid solution. Just because there's a variable in it, a lot of times in science, we will then substitute in the value for t later. So, we'd be done.